Welcome to a special episode of Bible and Brewing Coffee in the Morning. This is your pastor, James Haugen at St. John Lutheran Church in Holgate, Ohio. And I'm actually not in my uh, church today because I'm actually going to go do chapel at St. John in Freedom Township, which is just a town, uh, just north of Napoleon, just about 20 minutes. So, but you're getting a devotion in the car. So let me back up real quick and then talk to you for a little bit. So yeah, sometimes the pastor life takes you all over the place. So it's one of those interesting things to give you that insight to show you that the pastor doesn't just work in the office. He is all over the place. So I don't really necessarily have a scripture reading that I necessarily want to look at, but kind of just keep the idea of why Christmas sometimes is such a joy for some families, but then also can be a almost a burden. Um, I remember as a kid being a pastor's kid, Christmas was always a fun time, like because getting ready for church and then also having the Advent services on top of that. It was busy, don't get me wrong, um, but it was, it was a fun time in our family, especially when it got to the Christmas season, we would have our Christmas Eve service uh, at at seven and then we would actually back in the day we used to have a 11 o'clock so a candlelight 11 o'clock service and I always thought it was cool you would go to church and then you get home and be Christmas and technically if you wanted to be technical or not technical it is Christmas Day so sometimes I'd ask my parents hey can we open up Christmas presents it's Christmas Day at midnight so, but then we would wait for the next after church the next day and uh, open up our presents. But so it was just kind of this tradition. But sometimes families don't have that if it's a broken family or it's just when family gets together, it gets stressful and all that kind of thing. But ultimately, why are we celebrating at Christmas? Why are we having Advent for four weeks and then having all these services around Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, having the children's program? What? What is the point to all this? Well, the world wants to skip this point. They want to move on from this point and move on to the next thing. Valentine's Day, if you know, Ash Wednesday starts February 14th, which is um, Valentine's Day. So it's going to be here before you know it because Easter's early. But the world wants to move on. They want to get to Christmas in October but they still have to wait until December 25th. But again, sometimes Christmas for families are, is kind of a tough time. And the world also kind of wants to avoid what Christmas is truly about. Sometimes in, we might, in all these traditions we do, even in the church, we might miss the point. And the point is the true gift that we have received. And that is the gift Christ. And that's why we are celebrating, because we can't get to the cross until we get to, uh, not until we get, when we got to Jesus' birth. If we don't have that, we don't have the cross. So all the events of Christ are important. And that's what we celebrate during this time, uh, during this Christmas season. Uh, pastors might say, like, because Christmas falls on the weekend, it's not a pastor's Christmas, uh, because he has to do service. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, but it's always a blessing to serve God's people in this time, in the season of Advent and then Christmas to truly keep our focus on why we are celebrating Christmas, and that is to celebrate our Lord's birth and the resurrection that is to come for us because we have faith in what Jesus has done for us. So during this Christmas season, I want to challenge you to Think of those times when you like traditions of Christmas, but then those those Christmases you might not necessarily like in the moment. But remember that Christmas is still that special time to celebrate and remind us that Christ came for us. He was born just like us, like you and me, but he also was God, 100% God for us so that he would rise and not die. Um, and live for us all. So 
look at that. See how Chris, some Christmases are good, some Christmases are bad. But ultimately, God uses all what we do for the glory of Him and the glory of His Son, Jesus. So I hope you have a blessed Christmas. I hope this video blesses you. Um, just continue to read through these readings uh, because we have extra church. Uh, we have church on Wednesdays and Sundays. You have a lot more time to hear from God's word. Uh, our th Advent theme is looking at the peace of God, how that gives us peace when we try to achieve our own peace through many things of this world. So um, if you want to tune into that, uh, we will we'll be a blessing for you as well. Uh, hope you have a great day. Make sure you continue to keep in God's word this week and hope you have a great Christmas season.